something I think about often about why I love um, being outdoors so much. Um, I've had great workout sessions in the gym with good music on my ears and being on the treadmill. But I realize a big distinction in exercising or moving outdoors is something as natural as gardening or moving things is that um, you have to think and problem solve in a very natural way. Um, in the in the gym, sometimes in an artificial environment, sometimes we're moving sheerly for vanity and there's nothing wrong with this healthy sense of vanity, but sometimes it just feels very empty and um, not very purposeful. Like I remember years ago when I was doing fitness competitions and um, I really had a goal of, you know, showing women, especially um, chocolate women, um, that you can eat healthy and be in shape and it, it brings up your, your it adds to your, your, your self-esteem. But also there was kind of like a feeling of that the fitness didn't have a purpose, you know, just to walk around and pose and show off the muscles on stage. And then to come into an environment where you actually have to use those muscles is very humbling. You know, I could do all these pull-ups, but then carrying um, two five-gallon containers of water, which is something very functional, um, was humbling. I mean, I could barely uh, carry them initially, and it was something um, I would have never thought that, you know, as someone that could do a, a fair amount of push-ups and, and pull-ups. So um, being out in the sunshine, going out um, to the park, or have, having to, you know, fix a flat, um, and not totally be freaked out when the unexpected happens or to carry home heavy bags of um, dried grass and leaves which when they're wet <laughs> also can be very heavy and to find different pieces of trees and plants that I can recycle and use and really requires something and it's something gratifying um, there's another kind of um, gratification around problem solving um, that comes from it there's just something about um, functional movement. It feels like you're really engaged in life as opposed to doing something merely for vanity. So rather than say, you know, I hate the gym. I don't hate the gym. I've had some of my best times with myself like in the gym. So I suppose it, it, it depends on context. Right now, actually, I'm looking at some kale. It looked like it was down for the count because I relocated it and it took um, almost a week and a half, but it's coming back. So there's other kinds of... Um, real life experiences that come from doing things um, that are natural movements that have a purpose in life. Building something or growing something and then you get to eat it. It's a whole, it's another level than being in the gym if that makes sense. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I wanted to share. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Click the thumbnail so you can be updated of whenever I upload a video. Uh, enjoy the content of Sister Butterfly and Sister Monkey Learn to Eat Better puppet series. Yeah, and I'd love to hear um, your comments and feedback um, below. Create a great day on purpose. Let me get back to this stuff. I'm going to use it for shade for some of my plants. So everybody can grow something.